Hello, hello! Welcome to Sharon Be Making Stuff! So I know Mother's Day is just a few days away, that's why today I'm gonna show you guys how to make this lovely card to give to your lovely mother. So let's go ahead and get right into it! So to get started, we're gonna need a blank card, some scrapbook paper, some paint sample cards from anywhere that sells paint, adhesive foam dots, an embossing label maker, a heart punch, a pair of scissors, some type of strong adhesive, I'm using quick grip, a glue stick, and a permanent marker and a metallic paint pen. Last but not least, some twine. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we need to do is take our scrapbook paper and measure it out to the same size of our blank card. I'm just going to trace it and cut it out. Next, I'm going to cut off one of the corners to make it rounded, so I'm just going to take a pencil and make a mark starting from one corner and then on the other side, kind of see where I want it to end and just connect the dots, draw a line and cut that out. Once you are satisfied with the shape, you can go ahead and erase the pencil lines and then you can glue it down to the card, making sure to line it up with the edges. Now I'm just going to take my quick grip and apply a little blob on the bottom of the card, not at the edge but just one centimeter away from the edge and I'm just going to take the end of the twine piece, lay it right on there and stretch it all the way to the other side of the card and glue that side down. After gluing each side down, don't forget to hold it for about 30 seconds to let the glue dry first before letting go of it. Now I'm just going to trim off the excess twine and repeat the same step with another piece of twine right beside the one that we just did. Leaving about one space, one centimeter space in between the two pieces. And then once again, just cut the excess off. And now we can move on to the next step. So for the little bow, we're just going to cut off eight inches of twine and then tie one knot in the middle first and then create two little bunny ears on each side and knot those two together and there you have it, your little bow, so cute! and we're just gonna set that aside for now until a little later so moving on we're just going to take our paint card samples and cut them up so we can punch them with our heart puncher. So since the size of my heart puncher is very similar in size to the paint card sample, I find it easier to punch it upside down like this so you can kind of gauge the placement of the heart and you don't punch out any of the words or the white part from the card. So for this next step, I don't know if I just forgot to press record or I accidentally deleted the footage, but all you have to do is just take one foam dot and stick it to the back of five of the hearts and you're going to take the hearts and stick them in between the two twine pieces making a string of hearts going downwards and once you're done that you can move on to applying some strong adhesive onto the little bow that we made earlier and gluing that down right on top of the first heart and now we're just going to take our permanent marker and write the word think onto our five little hearts And now we can move on to writing the words you and mom right beside each other. Thank you, mom. Thank you. 
And just to add a little bit of detail, I'm going to add some glowing lines around the words. And just to make it look like my lines are actually glowing, I'm going to take my gold metallic paint pen and highlight each of the little lines. And if you want, you can also highlight the words as well, just to make them pop a little more. And now we're just going to take our embossing label maker, and I'm going to spell out the words for everything. So our card in the end is going to say, thank you mom, for everything. Just to make it look a little nicer, I'm just going to cut off the two corners so it forms an arrow. Because my label tape is not the stickiest, I am going to just peel off the backing and apply my own glue onto it first before sticking it onto the card. And that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more card making tutorials, then don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to share and be making stuff. And one more thing, shout out to all the mamas out there. Thank you for everything that you do. So don't forget to treat your mom this Mother's Day or even, you know, any mother figure in your life. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!